is it necessary for Canada to decrease the temporary resident population from 6.2% to 5% over the next three years? We need to, if, as long as they're temporary and don't overstay, if we need them to come here and help with whatever it might be, then we need them. When we don't need them, we don't need them. If we need 3% to get the job done, we need 3%. If we need 10% to get the job done, we need 10%. But temporary is the key. You come here as a temporary worker, then you get out. I think uh, I think houses are expensive, and I think the job market is overpopulated. And uh, I think the more people that come in, the more expensive the houses are going to be, and the harder it is going to be to find a good job. And uh, I think we should t take care of our indigenous populations before we start caring for other peoples and populations. We don't need to import, we gotta take care of our own people. Can we sustain it? Do we have do we have the ability to put people in places like we're look at our town, like we have so much homelessness and and it's not just in Kelowna, you know, it, it's very widespread. So maybe if they did include the provinces a little bit more and got us involved and got us talking a little bit more, maybe we could facilitate and come up with something that's a little bit more sustainable. I think um, our country needs more immigration, but we need to do it correctly. And just kind of have like, oh, Syria is having an issue. Let's just take all these people in, right? That's jumping the line. There is a process that you have to do. Um, I know that we bring a lot of like temporary workers in to do wines, like work in the orchards and stuff, and at a lower rate of pay than we pay. So we need those for those businesses to survive. And I'm a cool with that, but um, we have to be smarter about it, not just let whoever in and cut the line. There is a process for a reason. But yeah, no, Canada is a country built on immigration and we have so much space and need more growth. So I don't think it's necessary to lower the amount of people that are here. Why not? Well, I think, like I say, other than the housing issue, I think it's perfectly fine to have the population that we do. More people will help more taxes and more options. I think uh, people coming from other countries are what's making this country good, in my opinion. They do the jobs that... Other they start off uh, and work their way up. I'm all for them. Bring them in. More the better. I don't know. It's not something I've researched, but uh, we do have a serious housing crisis. Uh, but again, we also have a unskilled labor um, shortage as well. So I think temporary foreign workers uh, are important to bring into this economy to keep our economy running. Well, depending. Well, for myself, I'm a small business owner, and I'm currently trying to bring someone into the country, into Newfoundland to help my company that I can't find a Canadian to do. So, yeah, I think so. They're bringing in new people, fine, not around, a lot of people leaving, bring them in, but try to even it out, right? So right now we're, we're to a point where the housing is a shortage, everything's a shortage here, and nobody seems to do anything about it. They talk about it, but they're not doing anything about it. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. Mm -hmm. I think right now, we need more immigrants here to take over for the jobs that are vacant. There's a lot of vacant jobs here, and a lot of younger people don't want to be in uh, fast food and whatever. No, I don't think so. I mean, uh, Canada uh, is a great place to live, and if people want to come and uh, work here uh, and, and, you know, partake in our uh, democracy and our culture and contribute their own cultures and all that multicultural exchange, go for it. Um, you know, we, we do need more housing. Uh, and uh, by keeping people out, I, I don't think that's going to solve the housing crisis. We should be welcoming people into Canada because it's so beautiful and wonderful country to live in. I think that we need the workers that we need to do certain jobs that some people don't want to do, right? And, and temporary foreign workers play a huge part in that. Um, the conditions they're living through right now don't seem, to, from what I know, to be putting any pressure on the housing situation because they, they, they live in, 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 sometimes in squalor, right? So it's, it's not, uh, no, I, I don't think that they should be, that the numbers should be reduced, to be honest. Uh, yes, uh, except that if our crops aren't picked <laughs> and uh, other, other uh, uh, economic activities are uh, uh, greatly hindered by the absence of labor, then uh, that should be revised. 
Uh, it depends what they're thinking of replacing it with. I know that there's been a lot of issues with uh, the temporary for foreign workers programs, um, including very importantly to me, like the, the, the human rights abuses that a lot of these workers face. Uh, you know, they, they're here working without as many rights as, as those of us who are from here get. So I think, you know, if, if they're thinking of replacing the program with something a little bit more humane, a little bit more better for, for the workers themselves, I, I welcome it. Uh, I'm not sure what their, what their rationale for decreasing that number is right now. It seems like there's always a need for more workers in Canada, so I'm not sure you know, limiting workers coming in is necessarily the, the solution, but I think if, if that program is to continue, then those workers coming here to work definitely deserve much better labor protections, labor rights, human rights, uh, like we all do here.